Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In today's video, we are going to explore an interesting feature of MLflow, um, which is about creating nested runs. So first, let's imagine a scenario in which we may need uh, this feature. Let's imagine that we are working on a machine learning project and we need to train multiple machine learning models. And we need to track the metrics, parameters, and artifacts that belongs to each one of those models. Well, given that case, uh, it would be very convenient to have a way to track all, those, all that meta information in a kind of hierarchical structure. Well, MLflow allows us to do so uh, using nested runs. So in the screen right now, I'm showing you a uh, run, uh, the MLflow user interface, and we have a run called parent. Then inside parent, we have child tooth and child one. Child tooth may represent a model, a particular model, and child one it's maybe another model that it's a little bit more complex because we can see that it contains uh, children, two more children or runs, right? So let me show you this uh, kind of diagram that I have done uh, with Mermite syntax. Uh, so we have the parent run here, parent run, in which we are creating two runs, nested run one, nested run two. Now, here inside this run, we can block parameters, metrics, artifacts, train models, etc. Um, then we are creating nested runs. Inside each nested run, we can do the same. We can uh, lock metrics, uh, parameters, artifacts, train models, etc. Or we can do that and at the same time create more runs. So here, for example, child one run. Uh, we can see that we are doing some job. We are training models, logging parameters, uh, metrics, artifacts, etc. And at the same time, we are creating two more runs, um, child1, 2, and child1, 1, 1. So now let me show you how we can do this using the MLflow Python client. So here we are. Let me walk you to this code. The first thing that we are doing here is uh, create uh, importing this uh, function from MLflow utils. MLflow utils is this script that we have here, uh, which contains a function called create MLflow experiment. Um, well, it basically creates an MLflow experiment and returns the experiment ID. Now, in order to create a nested run, we can use the regular syntax with uh, using the with statement from Python to create an MLflow context. Um, now, I am creating or starting a new run using uh, this name, parent. And in this section, uh, pay attention to the indentation that we have here. At this level, we can do, let's say, train a model, lock parameters, lock metrics, artifacts, etc. And we can also create more runs. So we can see here that at this level, at this level, uh, we have two runs, child one and child two. Inside child 2, we can do the same thing. Maybe train a different machine learning model, lock the parameters, the metrics, uh, etc. And inside each child, I can create even more, let's say, runs. For example, here inside child 1, I am creating child 1, 1 and child 1, 2. And again, I train models and lock parameters, metrics, artifacts, etc. The important thing here is that the nested runs has to uh, have this parameter called nested that by default is the false. So for example, here, if, if we can see here the documentation, it says that nested, we can see nested is a boolean and the default value is false. So since this is the parent run, we don't need to specify this as a, a true because it's a parent. So let me read a little bit more about this nested parameter. Nested controls whether run is nested in parent run. So, for example, if we want child one to be a nested run of parent, I had to specify nested equals true. Um, well, that's basically everything for this video. By running this code, we can create a structure like the one that we are seeing here uh, with different childs. Um, Sorry, different children or different runs. Um, and this, uh, let's say, feature, uh, it's very useful when we are dealing with, let's say, complex uh, 
use cases in which we need to track uh, different components of the experiment in different runs or levels. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.